When kids drink soda pop, they're getting a lot more than they bargained for. Because just one soda a day can lead to an extra 10 pounds a year. And that leads to some very serious health problems. But the soda tax can make a difference, reducing the epidemic of childhood obesity and diabetes, with the money helping to support Cook County hospitals and health programs. And that's going to help keep our kids a lot healthier. And that's going to help keep our kids a lot healthier. But the soda tax can make a difference, reducing the epidemic of childhood obesity and diabetes, with the money helping to support Cook County hospitals and health programs. And that's going to help keep our kids a lot healthier. $68 million to help us balance our fiscal year 2017 budget. $68 million, approximately $17 million a month. And that means finding ways to close the fiscal year 2017 budget gap as it now exists and prepare for what we may need to do in 2018. I want to remind everyone that when we first proposed the tax last October, I cautioned that without this revenue, we would have to lay off hundreds of county workers. I proposed the sweetened beverage tax to avoid this situation, and eight brave commissioners voted for it. That revenue was included in our fiscal year 2017 budget, which passed the board 13 to 4. I made a point of stressing that since public health and public safety together comprise 87 percent of our budget, those offices and departments would bear a disproportionate share of any cuts. Under my direction, the Budget Office has been working with all separately elected officials, department heads and bureau chiefs, to achieve a 10 percent holdback in their adjusted expenditures for the last four months of the fiscal year. I'm grateful to all those elected officials and administrators who have answered the call. Virtually all of them have met the Budget Office mandate. Unfortunately, I must say with great disappointment that the sheriff continues to put forward proposals that are either unrealistic or will not result in real reductions. Instead of working in good faith with the budget office, he's embarked on a media tour, either personally or through surrogates. The jail stands at the heart of the sheriff's budget. The average daily detention population was 10,000 in 2010 and is now less than 7,500. We've seen the jail population go down and stay down, but we haven't seen savings. Why? The sheriff has stated on a number of occasions that his headcount has fallen in the past decade, and it has, slightly, since 2006. But given the decline in the jail population since 2010, it should have declined considerably. I've said before and I'll say it again, we must act and act immediately to meet our financial obligations. That's what we're doing. Why would I buy a soda in this part of Barrington when I can just walk across the tracks there and buy one for a lot cheaper? Thank you. You have a good day. At this Barrington Circle K, Cook County is just a stoplight away. Because it's Lake County on this side and it's Cook on that side. The distance slight, the difference huge when it comes to where some people, like Mike Wood, are now purchasing pop because of Cook County's new sweetened beverage tax. Assistant manager Beth Eicherl says sales have doubled in a week. 
I've seen a lot of new faces that I've never seen before. And I hear about it when they walk in. They're like, no Cook County taxes. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm late. And then they, on the way they go. I mean, straight what? up, Cook County tax is rough. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There are Lake County businesses in full Cook County view advertising the contrast. It even came up after a clerk offered John Pronskis this free drink as he waited for his pizza in Cook County. And I thanked her and I said this soda pop is worth a lot more today than it was a little while ago because of the Cook County tax. And Board President Preckwinkle insists that she needs the revenue from this new tax to balance the county's budget, 87% of which she says goes towards the county's criminal justice system and its health care system. But the soda tax can make a difference, reducing the epidemic of childhood obesity and diabetes, with the money helping to support Cook County hospitals and health programs. Yeah. <laughs>